What is up guys? In this video I'm going to be going over why it's a bad idea in general to gamble on the internet and this video idea came from me using NumPy to get some random numbers and I learned that you can manipulate these numbers to your advantage and of course this is usually how casinos and gambling machines work. So for example as you can see right here we have a dice and a dice has six sides. Now all this program does is simulate 100 dice rolls so if we go ahead and actually run the program you'll notice that we'll get this very sloppy array of random numbers and more or less you'll notice that they will even out. There will be even amount of sixes, ones, twos, fives, it will all even out more or less, because each one of these rules has the same probability of coming out. But now let's go ahead and try to do something that's a bit more cheeky, such as inserting the percent of each roll or how much each roll should pop up. So as you can see right here, just by adding this P parameter, we're able to manipulate each dice roll, which means there's going to be a 10% chance that one is going to pop up, an 80% chance that six is going to pop up, and a 2.5% chance for the rest. So of course, if we go ahead and run this program again, you're going to notice that we're going to have a lot of sixes and then we're gonna have quite a few ones. And then we're gonna have very few two, three, four, and fives. So essentially this whole video is just about that you can actually manipulate the percent of an outcome. And even if it's going to look like a fair role when you play the game or you go online somewhere, you need to know that deep down, you probably have a very slim chance no matter what happens. Now, I also created another example which just flips coins. And this is going to be very straightforward in the sense that we only have two numbers to deal with. One is going to be the heads, which I display as one. And the second one's going to be tails, which I display as a two. Now here we can insert the same probability, whether heads is going to pop up or tails is going to pop up. And we can also insert the sample size of how many coin flips we want to go through. So if we go down to the bottom of the program where I actually use this, you can see I decided to flip 100,000 coins. I gave the heads probability a probability of 0.001%. And as you can see here, there's almost a complete certainty that Tails is going to dominate. And I also added a reward mechanism. So as you can see, since the chances are so slim here, the people have a chance of actually winning 10,000 euros. And then I created one that's very similar to that, except I gave each one of the coins an equal chance of being flipped. Now, because this was an equal chance, I decided to lower the reward to 10 euros. But anyway, that's all that's happening here. Now, if we go ahead and run the program, we can simulate all of these coin flips and it's going to display it nicely in a graph. So as you can see, since the chances were slim to none, we won nothing with the casino method. We got zero earnings. We had 100,000 tails. Our losses were complete. It means we have no earnings whatsoever. We actually lost 100,000 euros using the casino method. Now, if this was actually a fair coin flip you would expect to get something more similar to this random method over here, where we got 50,000 heads, and we got about 500,000 euros in earnings. And then there was about 50,000 tails, and 50,000 were the losses. But of course, the total earnings was much superior to what we had over here. But let's go ahead and run this program one more time. Now you'll notice that even if we won the 10,000 euros once, we are still going to be in a heavy negative. So these casino sites do pay out every now and then, but it's very unlikely. And of course, the chances of you being the one they pay out to are very slim. And yeah, actually, this whole video was just about this probability. I found it very interesting in NumPy. And of course, sometime in the near future, I'm going to go over some more of these probabilities and just a better way to make sure you stay safe on the internet and don't lose too much money doing random investments or random gamblings. Because of course, people have algorithms that are out there that are designed to take your money rather than actually give you a chance of winning it. And this is actually very relevant to the channel right now because we are going to be diving more into algorithms that will handle cryptocurrency and other gambling methods, which of course you must take at your own risk because I do this for myself. And these should be seen as guides for you to create your own programs of course, test them out with smaller amounts before you start going into big amounts. Yeah, but anyway, to sum up this video, you just need to make sure that when you go to websites and you gamble, that you are very aware that your odds are going to look more like this and definitely not like this. Even though the rewards are going to be very high, your odds are very slim. And yeah, that's actually all I wanted to go over in this video. 
If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and I will do my best to respond to them. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.